Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome to the Hayseed Night. <clears throat> um, sorry for coming through the roof, Guff. Um, there's some edible mold on the beams. I, I thought you may like to know. Don't you dare act all friendly with me, you heartless stump! How did you find this place? I have to admit that Taylor was understandably uncooperative about this particular case, so I had to enlist the help of a few friends to find your little abode. I've known for a while now, really. I just figured you wouldn't be very happy if I dropped by without a reason, and I'm sure your little sister couldn't agree more with that sentiment. Odd place to hang out after a trial, but I'm not one to judge. <laughs> Illigrab laughed heartily at his own pun, but he quickly quieted down when he saw it didn't land so much as a crash into the ground burning. It, oh, it didn't land so much as crash into the ground burning. You come to arrest us? Arrest you, Ada? For what? Stealing a lady's heart and getting away with it? Please. Elbar's just abusing his power as usual. That's just your case, of course. Slapping a noble deer unconscious in the middle of the plaza is a little bit higher on the crime list. But I figure we both know by now that Miss Jasif never lived under the same metaphysical rules as the rest of us do. <laughs> she can do as she pleases. I'd have to get a bit more serious about this whole ordeal if Elbar were to stop screaming he's been betrayed and start treating it as an abduction, of course. But I'm sure you'd be quite a few leagues away from Heirloom by then. Are you encouraging us to escape? Me? I would never, Pumpkin. That could get me in trouble, you know. I'm just saying that if I were anyone but me, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't stick around to watch what happens when Sir Askadath gets his title upgraded to Lord. Stop listening to him! Don't believe a single word this murderous creep says! He was spying on us! Do you have to drag your grievances into everything, Goff? I was waiting for the right moment to say something. The conversation wasn't exactly letting up. How much did you hear then? Uh, more than I care to know. <laughs> but you know what they say, safe, sane, and something, something other. No clue where you're going with that, but we ain't got time for a lesson. If you ain't here to take us prisoner, there's something you gotta hear before you get. Hold your buckthorns, lad. I said I wouldn't show up without a reason, and I meant it. It's a mission of the utmost importance and urgency, in fact. Aina, I see you hiding there, you tiny troublemaker. Come on out. Did you think I wouldn't recognize you without the die or what? Bring that cauliflower mullet over here this instant. Your father's worried sick. <sighs> With a sober nod, Aina made to walk out, only to get desperately tugged back next to Adder's side by the wrist. She can't leave yet! It ain't safe out there! Whoa there, Adder. I'm sure you're all kinds of stressed out after what happened today. And trust me, I wouldn't dare move you an inch away from each other if I didn't have to. But we really don't have a choice here. As messed up as it is, she's still basically a child in the eyes of the law. And her father's, if he had any. How do you expect me to justify leaving a child with a ludopath, a Sefi, and a deserter when he asks? Speaking of which, it took me ages to get rid off that darned pie without you, lad. Don't worry, I did manage to find a new helping hand just in time, but if I were you... I'd keep an eye out for any sudden bounce of hair loss. You may have a new curse or two on your shoulders. Illigrab trembled slightly at the thought of more flames. Oh, well then, I wish I could stay here chatting all evening, but I really should get going before someone in the neighborhood tries to chop down this noise disturbance. But wait, Illigrab, you can't leave for... I know, I know, you want to clear your name. That is extremely brave of you, kiddo, but it is not a wise choice right now. That ain't... Fine. I'll tell you what, if you really, really feel like going through with this, I'll be waiting for- The city's full of beasts! 
<laughs> of course, the city is brimming with beasts. Come on, Ana. There's no place like home. You're not actually considering his offer, are you? You got wax in your ears or what? This could be our only chance to get a word in with him. Get a hold of yourself, you melon head! That was nothing but a poorly laid trap! Come on, we have to leave. We'll, we'll disguise ourselves as a traveling troop, Adder. I'm not going anywhere. What? I don't want to run anymore! Adder, come on. Lad, my lad, I know. We'll find you a nice doe in the steps. Don't bother, Gyoff. It's like talking to a brick wall. Darn right it is. Fine. Do whatever you want. And then there were two. Never mind. I'm not leaving you two alone in my house. <laughs> you get one night, and that's it. One night to let you clear your mind, get some rest, realize how stupid what you're saying is. Good night, Sop. Make sure to smash any flea you see. Please tell me he's not serious. Uh. All right, so it's night time. And Adder can't think of any answers to the current predicament. Hey, Sip, you awake? No. Yes, you are. Sleeping is 90% pretending to be asleep in my- Were you thinking about her? Yeah. I was really hoping she'd, I don't know, show up out of nowhere in the middle of the night or something. What is? Coming to your shack unannounced? I don't like where you're going with that question, ma'am. <laughs> Tell me if I'm being too nosy now, okay? I know you said getting closer to Aina was part of a plan and all, but I don't think you got the acting chops or the patience to spend all day making passes at someone you don't like either. You do got a thing for it, don't you? If I said yes... No. Not really, no. She looks really strong. I want her to carry me. Right? She could actually lift me up with only one hand. Wow. And she has two of those. <laughs> Yeah, what a concept, having a pair of anything. Oh, come on. You want me to go for the easy joke. Adderson, son of your father, the upper field, making raunchy comments in front of his love. Indeed. Adderson, son of your father, the upper field, would never dare act so discourteously in front of his Jasif. Aina would have gone for it, though. <laughs> for what it's worth, coming from someone like me, I'm positive that she'll be fine. Yeah. You're right. Think y'all would wake up if... Good night, Adder. <laughs> All right, so it's morning. Don't tell me I slept in, Bard. I realize that you're trying to bribe me, and I'm fully okay with that. Uh-huh. Talking from experience, are we? <laughs> the booty stands proudly on its own. This way, Adder. Sip, you What? Did you think I'd change my mind and run away in your sleep? No, no. It's just... Now I feel bad for having considered it then. To answer your previous question, however, yes. You absolutely pantomimed a horror show in your sleep like every other night. Ah, uh, so it ain't even the first time I do that in front of you, huh? I don't mind. I like it when you find fancy ways to say we're messed up in the head. How much did you... Enough to guess why you're still lying to me. This ain't no promise. Just, I don't think it'd be fair if I promised nothing at this point, but maybe, maybe I'll tell you when the whole beast thing is over. Aww. I may have to wait until the end of time, then. Way to kill the mood. Hold up! We didn't tell Gyoff that bit about the boats of the sea and the smell after all, did we? 
That loser wandered off a while ago saying he'd make us leave whether we wanted to or not. Speak of the ball. Adder, my beloved, are you in there? I we ain't got no keys. That's the Tickman knock. Hoof it up, scoundrel! I have captured that undersized manservant of yours. Oh, my Adder! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I, it was all a plot to ridicule me! I guess that's my cue to leave. Oh, Sir Askadav! My love! Please help! Ah, don't come in yet! I beg you! I find you time, you moron! What are you doing? Adding realism to the scene! So they start running. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Those are my good pants. How dare you mock me like this, one eyed scoundrel? I had nothing to do with this. Pretty in line with all his life decisions, really. What's your excuse then? I know when to fall by the wayside. No, that ain't what happened just now, is it? What? Don't start trying to justify this now. It matters because it means he's good deep down and he wanted to help somehow. It was a good chance, so that doesn't mean I have to thank him for it. Of course you did it. You would have just ordered us to do something if you thought of that first. I got it now. I got it for real, I think. You don't ever want to think of the reason behind things, because you're so convinced that you got us figured out. Well, it's looking like the end of your world as we know it, your majesty. If you are done with the lecture, I have a life to get back to. Enjoy yours. Aww. Wait! What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Weren't you? Elbar will be coming that way, you cretin! Are you tr You know I'm friends with Gyalf, Sip? No, you don't! What are you even- Remember that one buck I knew? The one from down yonder the steps? Well, he didn't get along with his family either. It wasn't all but he never did get better. He never did come back. He messed his whole life up. Forever. So we. I don't know if you've ever met the guy. But the thing is, he can't ever return home. You don't know that. And to be fair, he was kind of an innocent guy. And he had huge dreams, so he wanted to be cold, to be fine with the bad things he'd done. But no matter how much he tried, he could be at her, but he couldn't be the rest of that. He was still mean, and there ain't no way that me guy could survive leaving his family behind twice. Aww. Of course he can! He's just been betrayed! I'm sorry, Sip. Love. Why are you being like this? No, I get that. And I think you're way smarter than I am, because I'm sorry I dragged you here. Be as selfish as you say you are this one time. This isn't like you, Adder. I... No, you're right. It ain't. No. You're not going to leave without a proper goodbye, are you? How <laughs> proper are we talking? <laughs> you said it yourself. This could be the last time we see each other. All right, look, I miss you too, and I'm very glad I'm alive and we're alone to the three. No, they know. I'd be right happy to do whatever you wanted. I will not settle for anything less than a kiss. Afraid? 
of a kiss? Are you done? Yes, ma'am. No. <sighs> Good. Now play along. Unhand me, you brute! How dare you try to steal me away from my love! Hark! I think I hear the melodiously grating voice of Jaceef somewhere. Jaceef! Oh, my love! But what? Oh, no! I can't believe this deer was actually a pirate! I said play along, you numbskull. Going to take me to the sea of Fensnar to claim the throne. Uh, yeah! Whatever she said. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Sip. I'm gonna kill you to give me a heads up from time to time. Guards! Forget that beautiful bastard! What are you standing there for, you layabouts? Never mind. There. Now I don't have to worry about you. You're welcome. You really did turn me into Captain Horn Eater. You can spend all the time you need <laughs> crying about your infamy once we have decided our next move. Uh, what? Huh? I'm the only woman standing between you and the tip of Elbar's sword. And your sacrifice is much appreciated. Of course. Let me try and persuade the minds of 12 armed deer. Is that what you want me to do, Adder? Ma'am, I'd never. Aw, is that jealousy I see? Nah, I don't think nothing. Like you knew much better. So what if I don't do things the knightly way? No, nope. you know what? I think you made your point. I'm not the one reaping what he sowed. Ma'am, I'd call the whole darn town over if these two farmhands ever stopped being enough. Why'd you keep running back to that gosh darn friggin' silver spoon friend muscle head of all the- Oh, I didn't realize I needed your approval to choose my patrons. You didn't even choose him. Adder, please. You can't choose the love of your life. Yeah, right. You're lying to me and to yourself. Why, thank you. I polish them every day. <laughs> oh, but I hated you. Your legs have been slowed down by the weight of your villainy, miscreant. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I mean, hands off my booty, landlubber! Am I supposed to say that there? Anyway, she's gonna kick the bucket if you don't tell me where my friend is. Friend? Friend? Not only are you wicked, what I scoundrel, you are stupid as well. No, I 100% knew that. So you think? But we were one step ahead of your evil wits yet. Like, in this general. Isn't that where it hurts when you get kicked in the nuts? Don't start interrupting me with your shameless mockery! Yeah, Captain. Pay attention to his spiel, or I'll have to start reciting it all over from the beginning. Thank you, babe. You ever try hollering from your belly? <clears throat> Sorry. Where was I? Oh, yes. Goff knew that your wretched heart would be crushed by the immense guilt you'd feel over a- <sighs> He's gonna catch a crumb of affection from these hands when I find him. <laughs> and trust me, Brigid. And writers! And actors! Stealing from small creators is not the same as stealing from soulless corporations. Oh, no, yeah, ble- Return my treasure to me at once! Um... Then pay up. I'll return her gladly, but only if you can match the price you paid for. I'll be gone and y'all be happy together at last. No, Sir Askadath. Matter, what is wrong with you? Don't give in to his demands. You miserable liar. If your love could be so easily broken by gold, you never even loved her to begin with. Didn't you just say you bought her? Don't you dare lump us together, you th <laughs> I'm a self-made stag who built his wealth honorably through his inheritance. Just kill me now, please. How dare you order me to murder you? I will murder you on my own terms. <laughs> oh. Now would be a real good time to do something, Sam. It really would, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is going to end up in the same place as the other choice. Sip! Die! Mr. Raskadath! Behind you. Yeah, it did end up in the same place, so it was nice to see some new dialogue, but it didn't really end up mattering in the long run.
All right. Come with me. That won't keep him down. So into the desert rose then. Did I stutter? Yeah, we've seen this before. Sip. Sip. Are you trying to take us on a leisure tour around heartache or what, Rap? Why are we here? What a deep question, dear. You know what I mean. Well, I'm here because you didn't manage to spoil the surprise for Sir Askadaf. And speaking of me, I'm pretty sure I just saw... What were you expecting? Hmm. I'm sure there are a lot of ways to greet someone that don't involve trying to get them killed. Not for you, there aren't. Oh, honey, come on. I was just hoping you'd have forgotten by now. Let's just leave it at Gioff and I had an axe to grind, shall we? So he was playing both ends? She knows Gio Know him? <laughs> my, I would certainly hope so. He was the only horn eater my age around the desert rose. Oh. <laughs> the evenings we spent roasting fools to death. <laughs> Hold up. You saying you two are the, the same age? Are you ready to gamble your life on your next words, dear? You look younger. <laughs> If you two are done with this stupid farce, I'm still waiting for an answer. Why would you take me back? Is that so surprising? Even a squandered waste of a man like him can't help wanting what's best for his little sister. Uh... Oh, oh, help, please. Sir Askadaf needs reinforcements. I thought we'd uh, seen this before, but is this... Is this going a little differently than it did before? See you on the other side. We're not actually going in, are we? Sip, I've been trying to tell you. I think I saw a beast tailing us. You think? I, I mean, I know a whole darn lot of fluffy folk with glowing eyes and interesting <laughs> body shapes. Could be a number of things. If I have to choose between beasts... I suppose I'd rather deal with the one I know best. Don't worry, Sip. I'll be right there with you. That's the part that worries me. All right, so is this where they meet Tailed? I have to admit, I didn't think you had the metal to come in. We're in trouble, Ral. Far worse trouble than you or Elbar. Oh, trust me, I know. It's written all over your face. I hadn't seen you this scared since that time you ran into the door and snapped your little horns in two. Oh, you cried like the world was crumbling around you. Nothing we can't fix this time either, I'm sure. Feel free to slip out of that fancy new dress of yours into something more comfortable. I'm not leaving Adder alone with you. Then I guess you'll get to wear matching clothes for a little longer. How fun. <laughs> oh yeah, the love of Adder's life. The almond pastries slathered in fig jam, honey, and topped with a date. What's the big idea, Ral? Well, if you must know, I'm trying to figure out our bleak night schedule. I'm thinking about shifting some of the performances around on the second fourth next moon. <laughs> you may not. Ral, I need you to listen to me like you haven't ever listened. Ooh, a favor and a lie right after getting saved from a romantic escapade. I know that what I'm about to say may seem impossible to believe, but... Heirloom will be attacked soon. If what they said is true, they're planning to carry out some sort of moral population call on the deer. Dang my melt, sugar. That's horrifying. Do you believe me, then? Of course I do. I know you wouldn't lie about something this silly. Oh, bless the gods. You have to help us, then. I'm honored you think so highly of me. 
But I don't have the power to do anything about this. None of that matters now. Besides, I'm sure that Elbar is jumping in joy at the chance of rescuing a swooning princess from a punny, please. You aren't so naive as to think that little stunt of yours will be enough to mend your relationship with a knight. Th that's not what happened at the trial. So that's what it was. See, a doe like me tends to ponder why there's a whole punchin' of wine instead of a gazelle at her doorstep. It's funny how news flies when you're barely yards away from them. Hmm. We're so fortunate that our princess never needed to learn from her mistakes. Who told you? <laughs> Just sis. There you go doing funny voices again. I knew we'd have to have this talk sooner or later. Kids grow up so fast. Say what? You really think someone as smart as Sip's gonna fall for such an obvious... Oh, my poor Thar. With a guy always spending his nights down the street and three children to mind, your mother needed a confidant. What are you getting at, Rel? Oh, I remember this. We have seen this before, haven't we? Come on, dear. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, she and, uh... Sepp's mother were more than friends. Thar was my wife. You and mom? Are you sure that you want me to fill you in on all the details? Didn't you used to say you were geek off sage? Don't you ever dare ask me that again, dear. All that matters in the end is that her two sons looked and sounded too much like him. But it was different with you. Yes, she told me everything about your circumstances from the beginning, darling. So, it means that come next week, Elbar will have forgotten all about you and- Hold on one second. Hold on, because I can't believe what I'm hearing. Of course not. She chose to shut herself in. Then you just casually let her do anything she wanted as long as it lined up with what you wanted her to do. Well, that's uncalled for. I only had to welcome her back and watch her cry over some worthless, misshapen fawn. Don't think I don't sympathize, dear. I will give credit where credit is due, however. You've really gone above and beyond to come back and break her heart one last time. No. I'm never gonna hurt her again. No. Yeah, this is where we meet Taylor. You really should have run away when you had the chance. To suck your mouth, Septuit. Taylor! Oh, no, honey. Joff isn't that heartless. Indeed. I'm afraid I had to keep my presence unannounced. I've been anxiously anticipating my sister's return. Taylor, whatever it is you've heard. I'm afraid I have postponed this matter long enough. Uh, so Seth is apprehended? Gollum, hold her gently but firmly. You don't have to do this, Taylor. I... I... I Ral, please! Run, she says. <laughs> Dear. You aren't thinking about this rationally! On the contrary. I'd like to think that I'm being quite pragmatic. We're all going to... <laughs> Come on, honey. Don't look at me like that. Ah, the flame of youth. For now, however, I think you need to spend a good long while in your room thinking about what you've done. <gasps> Adder! Adder! Yeah. I think we'll continue from here in the next episode, although we already know what's going to happen next. But, uh, um, I'm pretty sure we'll get to the temple in the next episode and and uh, then at some point um, after that we'll get to the end game and um, now that I know more about what's what I can make a few different choices in the end game there and uh, see if it matters see if we'll manage to get a different ending this time maybe a better ending uh, yeah, but for now, 
thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.